Turashimiye imana cyane uyu munsi. We thank God so much for today. Kongeye kudutera iteka kugira ngo tubane namwe tuganire ijambo ry'Imana. To be with you and discuss with you the word of God. Twakire buri muntu wese. Ugiye gukurikirana iri jambo ry'Imana. Who is yet to follow this word of God? Imana imuhe umugisha. May God bless you. Uyu munsi tugiye kuganira ku ijambo rivuga ngo mbere yo kwerekana yo kwerekanwa. Today we are going to discuss a word that says before being exposed. Mbere yuko umuntu wese yerekanwa before anyone is exposed hari ikintu kiba ku buzima bwe something must happen upon his life hari inzira runaka umuntu agomba gucamo there is a certain way one must follow kubera kutacha muri izi nzira cyangwa se kutamenya izi ntambwe failure to know these steps zuzima umwana w'umuntu agomba gucamo kugira ngo yerekanwe that a son of man might go through so that he may be exposed harabasimbuka bagashaka kwerekanwa igihe cyabo kitari cyagera there are those who skip and they want to manifest and to be exposed before their time has come byanze bikunze iyo werekanwe igihe kitari cyagera igikurikira ni ikibazo want it or not when you are exposed before time has come you must you might encounter problems iyo nkoresheje kwerekanwa igihe kitari cyagera no guhishurwa mu mbaraga no mu bushobozi igihe cyawe kitari cyagera when i use the word to be exposed before your time is when one is put on a scene before his time has come david afite amateka akomeye akiri mu mujyango wa papa we David David was under a great principle when he was still un, under his family. Yari umwana watawe nababyeyi wibera mu ntama ise yaramurungitse mu ntama. He was a child who was deserted by his parents he was, he was always sent to look after cattle. Na hishurirwa nta nta buzima yamubonagamo muri kazoza amwohereza mu ntama. He saw nothing like a future in this child and he sent him to look after sheep. Arika bakubakurube yari yarabashyize mu gisirikare barabasirikare ba Israel. His older brothers were all in the army and were deployed in the army. Imani irimo natoranya umwami ishima Dawidi. When God was choosing a king he he, he opted for David. Ikoresha Samuel kugira ngo Dawidi asukweho amavuta y'ubwami. He used Samuel so that he can anoint David the anointing of the kingship Hari kintu cyari kivutse mu buzima bwa David Something was reborn in his life Hari kintu cyari kibayeho gitandukanye nibyo yararimo mu ntama nibyo ababyeyi be batekereza kuva gisutsweho amavuta Something happened to him that was so special and different from before when he was before anointed Ikintu kingenze kirahangaha nuko umunsi David yasutsweho amavuta sicyo gihe David yerekanweho mu Bisiraheli kugira ngo abe umwami wa Isiraheli There is something special here when David was anointed to become the king of Israel but he he did not immediately take up the kingship Tugomba kumenya yuko igihe tuvu muri twebwe hari kivutse igihe havutse ikintu kidasanzwe mu buzima bwacu ntabwo ari cyo gihe tugomba kwerekanirwamo We must know that uh, when something is born in us we are not supposed to be exposed immediately. Reka dusome ijambo ry'Imana. Let us read the word of God. Muri Luka igice cya gatatu mu rongo wa mbere kugira kwa gatandatu. Luke chapter 3 verse 1 to 6 Turibuze kureba urugendo rwa Yohana umubatiza mbere yuko yerekanwa We shall see the journey of John the Baptist before uh, his journey before he was exposed Turasoma mu izina rya Yesu We shall read in the name of Jesus Nuko mu mwaka wa 15 ku ngoma ya ya Kaisari Tiberio ubwo Pontio Pilato yari umutegeka wi Yudaya na Herode ari umwami wi Galilaya na Filipo mwene se ari umwami wi Ituraya no wi gihugu kitirakonite na Rusania ari umwami Abirene yeah now um, now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea Herod being tetrarch of Galilee his brother Philip Te, uh, tetrad of Eturia and region of Tra Traconiates and Rhinus uh, tetrad of Ben of Abilene Ana na Kayafa arabatamzi bakuru nibwo ijambo ry'uwiteka ryere yageze kuri Yohana mwene Zekaria ari mu butayo Verse 2 While Ananas and Caphias were high priest the word of God came to John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness ajya mu gihugu cyose gitere giteganye na Jordan abwira abantu iby'umubatizo wo kwihana ngo bababarirwe ibyaha and he he went into the region around Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance 
for the remission of sin. Muko byanditswe mu gitabo c'amagambo y'umuhanuzi Yesaya ngo ijwi ry'urangururira mu butayu ati ni mutunganye inzira y'uwiteka mugorore inzira ze. As it is it is written in the book of the word of Isaiah the prophet saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight igikombe cyose kizuzuzwa n'umusozi wose nagasozi biza bizaringanizwa nibigoramye bizagororwa n'inzira zidaharuwe zizaharurwa 5 every valley shall be filled and every mountain and he and the hill brought low the uh, crooked places shall be made straight and all the rough ways smooth abantu bose bazabona agakiza k'Imana verse 6 and all the flesh shall see the salvation of the lord yohana yafashe ya harurugendo rurerure yaciyemo kugira ngo yerekanwe john took a long journey so that he can manifest or, or be exposed nago ari gupfa kwerekanwa nubwo haba hari message ufite ku buzima bwawe nubwo haba hari vision ufite ku buzima bwawe nubwo hari ikintu gikomeye waba urimo urategura gukora ntaga ari gupfa kugikora it is not just mere show, being showed up or exposed even if you have a message upon your life or even if you have a vision in your life it is not a matter of being showed up iyo abana b'Imana bahamagawe cyangwa se batoranijwe hari ikintu kibaho Imana ibanza kuducishamo mbere yuko umuntu hagaragazwa when chooses children of God to work for him or to serve him they is, they must go through a certain procedure before they are exposed kwerekanwa bihishura ubushobozi buba butagara butagaragajwe mu gihe runaka exposure means an authority that is not showed up or exposed before time t kugira ngo ubwo bushobozi ubwo bushobozi bushobore kujya ku mugaragaro hagomba kubaho kutunganywa no kubakwa kubwo bushobozi authority to be exposed there must be perfection and also be built up together. Kunanirwa no gutsindwa kenshi tubibona ku bantu batagize igihe cyo gutunganywa kwa bwa bushobozi bita ko bafite cyangwa se barimo baragaragaza. Failure is witnessed when one has not gone through pro, uh, proper procedure to be taught and be equipped. Iyo hatabaye igihe cyo gutunganywa no gutegurwa byanze bikunze mu gihe cyo kwerekanwa tuzabona gutsindwa no gukubitwa hasi. Failure to be prepared and to be, to be perfected we are we are going to always incur those kind of losses and failing. Buri muntu wese ari ubushobozi afite. Every person has ability. Ari kugwa ubushobozi bufite igihe buzazira mu buzayishurirwamo. But that ability has a time to a time to, to be exposed. No simbuka intambwe runaka cyangwa sahantu runaka ari kwe kuburi uzatakaza bwa bushobozi bwawe cyangwa se bwa busobozi buzangirizwa igihe uzaburi muri abugaragaza when you skip a level or a step you are supposed to be already established to and you go to another step before you finish this step there is that authority and that capability that you lose along the way ndashaka mbabwire ko imana ntago ipfa guterura umuntu ice imushira ku mugaragaro god does not just carry someone and expose him before time imusamure imukoreshe yatabanje guca mu nzira runaka god can never use you can never exalt you can never lift you up before he has taken you through ways mbere yuko umurimo umuntu yashizwemo before a work of someone has been deposited in cyangwa se umuhamagaro or a calling one is being called for bihishurwa mu buzima bwe before they are revealed in his life izinambwe tujye kuganiraho agomba kuzicamo byanze bikunze one must go through these steps you are going to discuss thereof intambwe ya mbere the first step cyangwa se ikintu cyambere kibaho mbere yuko umuntu yerekana or the first thing that must be must happen before someone is exposed habaho ikintu kitwa kuvuka there is something known as being birthed Luke chapter 1 50, uh, 58 uh, 57 and 58 yeah. 57 and 58 Haravuga ngo nuko iminsi yo kubyara kwa Elizabeth irasohora abyara umuhungu abaturanyi be na bene wabo mumva yuko umwami imana yamugirimba bazinyishi bishimisha bishimana nawe hey. Now Elizabeth's full time came for her to the river and she brought forth a son. Eight, fifty-eight. Mm -hmm. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. 
kuvuka ni kimenyetso gikomeye cyo kuba ku bushobozi runaka imana ibizanye mwisi to be born is a sign of an authority that God has brought into the earth. Ah, tunima turabana ari umuntu uvuka. We are looking at a person here being born. Ariko hari ubundi buryo bwo kuvuka. But there is another way of being reborn. Imana ishobora gutuma muri we havuka iyerekwa cyangwa se igitekerezo gikomeye kizahindura amahanga. God may cause a reborn of a thought of something in you that will change nations. Igihe cyose abaye kuvuka babisobanuye ko nubushobozi runaka buje. Every time we we experience Bath, we, 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 we expect an, a certain authority that has been born. A king of Egypt, Herod, came to understand the power of being born. He then he ordered to, to the killing of the firstborns of the Hebrew women. He because he had come to an revelation that whenever there was a, a, a child to be born, there, there was an authority born to shake their strength and their power. In the birth, there is power and authority. Never despise a good thought that is born in your life. Nusa susugure ikintu kiza wiyumvira wakora isigahinduka kibiri mu buzima bwa Never again this uh, never never despise something good that would come out of your life that would give a change to a nation or to, to your life Nisi yumuka bari muharavuka ikintu kigiye guhindura amahanga In the spiritual realm there was something being born that is going to to cause a change in the world Kenshi kuvuka habaho kutagira ubushobozi cyangwa se habaho ubushobozi muremerera uri kubyara Most cases this birth this birth when it occurs there is a, a certain power that opposes or surpasses this person is giving birth Niyo mavu iyo fit iyo gize vision vision ihuye n'imitekerereze yawe ntago ibivuye ku mana vision irenze imitekerereze yawe iyo niyo vision ivuye ku mana A vision that is equated to your thought to your mindset is not a right vision but a vision from god is the the right vision that you can can you can be carried on yere kwa dio serve ku man risarirenze imitekerereze yacu every revelation from god comes when it is beyond our thoughts risarirenze ibyo twakuriyemo ibyo twavukiyemo ibyo twabayemo it comes suppressing our thoughts and suppressing our, the places where we were born from and all the situations that we were born from. Many people are destroyed in this state. In the time of being birthed. In every great people that we have, there is none who was born without that thing that is greater than his authority. Anything you think that is greater than your authority, build its, its place to nurture it so that it can produce fruits. I want to inform you that there is no birth that is accidental. There is nothing accidental that happens in a human being. For God told Jeremiah that I knew before you were born in your mother's womb. Bless you to be a, 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 a prophet for the nations. I want to inform you that God knew you before you became a, womb, a, a, a fetus in your mother's womb. I want to tell you that thing that you want to do and, and it is good in your life. That vision that you have and you want to achieve. God is aware and he placed it in you. Uh, the Bible says that the all give good gifts are from God. Anything good from your life did not come from Satan but from God. That good thought that you have came from God. For the word of God says that 
for you, you you have a mindset of the thought of Christ Jesus to be born is not enough for you manifestation for that vision to be to be revealed is not enough uh, because you're born there is a second level that you must go through before you are exposed what they, they call maturity look 180 it says that child was born so the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his manifestation there, there is one thing you must know the part A of this one it says that this child grew glory to Jesus growth is something for a mount I want to tell that a vision grows a life of a person grows a mindset also grows growth is a sign of a good nurturing none grows perfectly unless nurtured properly if you want to manifest as one who preaches or teaches the word of God have a time to learn and study and be nurtured and be nurtured on the good food the world of today has something that has come up Every person desires to be prophesied. You are building a car, a flat. You have a car. You have a car. You have a million. You have a million. You have a million. You have a million. You have a And you find people are building their mind on the prophecy. That is not a right way of nurturing. A proper nurturing. You are told, you are taught that this is evil, this is good, and you know how to distinguish the two. A person who was nurtured properly can take a decision that will help others. A person who was nurtured properly, he knows how to humble before his subjects and he knows how to, to take uh, care of them. It is impossible for a person to grow minus being nurtured. The problem we have in this generation people tend to be naturals and yet they are never nurtured. You can never nurture, nurture someone when you are not nurtured yourself. And Jesus said that no one gives what he doesn't have. It is high time for people to be nurtured. Maturity is a sign of being fed well. Maturity means one has been fed well. When a person was not fed well, you can never grow. In our days, we are, we are fighting something known as bad eating habits. When a child was brought up and was fed poorly, his mind does not function well. Reasons why? Because he was fed poorly. If we are not fed well by the word of God, if you are not fed the, uh, spiritual food we can never grow properly thirdly maturity is a sign of being taught well to be fed well and to be taught well you can never grow well unless you are taught well there are people we consider that they don't, they don't have morals, they don't have, they are not nurtured well because of their self-conduct. 
the words out of them are evil words that come out of their mouth that shows that they were never taught well. There is no growth unless taught well. We had a proverb a proverb that said that a nature a nurturing is better than a, 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 an origin. Or, to, be, to be nurtured is better than to be born. It is something very hard. That means to be born is one. But to be nurtured is something very important than being born. There, there is another on which they used to say that a child is destroyed in the in the in the carrying. That, that, uh, that means the way this person is being nurtured is destroys in his childhood. Thirdly, for one to be exposed, or the gift in you to be manifested, you must increase. The power of the spirit. Part B. Part B. Part B. Part B. He says increase the power of the spirit. Increasing the power of the spirit. It is a sign of being great and strong. There is nothing one can do. Unless he's strong enough. Someone who is not strong in the spirit. When he is exposed and he encounters problems, he quits. When someone is not strong in the spirit and he encounters things that are, are, are cheering him up, are exciting him up, he fails apart. He goes astray and he fails to be in the vision. To increase strong strength in the spirit. It is a sign of counteracting. There is no one who is manifested before he has the power to counteract. God had so much time with Gideon. Building in him the power of resistance. For he had no uh, strong spirits. When you don't, you're not strong in the spirit. You cannot resist and counteract those issues that are fighting against you. Increasing the strength, the strength of the spirit. It is a sign of stability. We must increase the strength in the spirit so that we can have the power in the, in the, in the time of our exposure. One who is stable, he does not fear death even to what he is doing or he is up to. That is why the disciples accepted death even to the point of death when they were testifying for God or Jesus. The last step before we manifest it is staying in the desert. The Bible says John stayed in the desert to the time of his manifestation in the Israelites. Luke chapter 1 verses 80 part C of it it says that he stayed till in the day of manifestation to the day of his manifestation in Israel staying in the desert it is a sign of, of perseverance in the wilderness is a, a point where we learn how to persevere and patience servants of God and people who are hearing me I want to tell you whichever place you are if you lack a, a, a seed of 
a patience in you. Ndashaka kumbwira yuko rwose nubwo wakwerekanwa bingana gute uzagera ahantu tsindwe. I want to inform you that if however much you may manifest you reach a point and you fail completely. Kwihangana. Now patience. Haribyo haribyo bituma dusarura mwijuru. There is what causes for us to harvest in heaven. Na muntu werekanwa adafite kwihangana. No single person who manifest without lacking with, with lacking the spirit of patience in him. If you see someone who is impatient. Muzamenye ko hari urwego yasimbutse. Just know that there is a level he he skipped. Secondly, staying in the wilderness is a sign of obedience. Our children of God, we have a problem of, of being disobedient. The Bible says what you sow is what you reap. If you are disobedient, then you also be disobeying. But when you are obedient enough, people will obey you also. So when we stay in the wilderness, to have an imbuto it we reap a, a, a fruit that known as uh, obedience. The third point as we live in, a, in the desert. It is a, a time or a sign of waiting, waiting list. You wait waiting list without waiting for your time. God, the Bible that says that he does not delay in his time. Neither does he delay in his promises. But if you know God delayed in his promises, you skipped your wilderness. When you stay in the wilderness and wait upon the Lord, glory to Jesus. You come to understand that God does not delay in his time. Ichanyuma, lastly, kuguma mubutayu, to stay in the wilderness, it is, a, it, is a, it is a sign of experience. Yes, Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When one is in the wilderness, he acquires great lessons and great secrets of God. Our wildernesses there are great lessons that we get. My wildernesses taught me a lot of stuff. Taught me how to love. It changed me and transformed me. I got a great secret that will sustain me anywhere. Let me tell you my brother who is sitting there. Don't fear that wilderness you are but it contains fruits of, of, of experience that would help you in your life. People of God. These four steps are These four items are They are things that manifest before one is exposed. They are steps that one goes through before your exposure. I, strength, I, 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 I strengthen you who is going through all these process. Whichever level you are, be strong in it. When you are past the wilderness, then exposure is the next step. Leave Revelation is the next step. Yes, when Jesus was out of the wilderness, he came down and did miracles and people were moving. And they said, what is happening? When Israel was out of the wilderness, they entered uh, Canaan and they Fall down Kenna, uh, Jericho. Let me tell you my brother. If you are out of your Jericho, Jericho shall be falling down. When you are out of Jericho. You reach in your, your portion. May God bless you. May God be with you. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every person that has had this one. Let your good hand be upon you. Enable this person. The exposure. Be a strong person. When he, at his time, he was was in him there should be no failure. A seed that grew in him shall never fail and shall never be dotted. Thank you, mighty God. Let the glory be on in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Shalom.